there's, there's a very important early, uh, early role of, of one-to-one -one connection. Now that can be as early as triage, you know, when, when you meet the person behind the counter. There's a one-on-one -on -one connection there. I mean, we, we sometimes get a bit carried away that all one-on-one -on -one work is done in an office by yourselves, you know, in a one-hour appointment, you know, that's pretty old-fashioned. I see one-to-one -one as when the person walks up to the counter and talks to the person behind the counter. We, we've, we've got a, uh, a really interesting pilot going on at the moment where we're, we've got some quite well-qualified people. You know, we've got, I mean, like in the Wellington uh, uh, facility, for example, is we've got somebody with not only an, a, a, a degree in addictions treatment, they've also got a criminology degree and they're, and they're very well-qualified and they know what they're doing and, the, and, and they talk to the people in a very motivational way and get some really good information and some good support to move in the right direction from that moment. And that's one-on-one, -on -one, really. And then they might go uh, to the next stage, which is around that motivation and assessment. And uh, I don't think you should ever see assessment without seeing motivation as well, because the first thing you need to be doing is motivating the person to actually come back. And the second thing you need to do is be getting the information so that you know what you're dealing with when you, when you have that person coming. And also it's not just assessing them, it's actually looking at what they bring. Quite often we get referrals from other services, it comes with their own paperwork, it comes with their own, you know, with their own uh, uh, um, life experiences as they bring them in. Um, particularly in form of where people come from probation services, sometimes we need to know some of their history because that can be varied and some of that can be, uh, uh, we need to be aware for safety reasons too. So there's all that stuff, we need to bring all that together and that one-on-one -on -one thing is so that we get to know that particular client. At that point, it may be that what they need is brief intervention, one-on-one -on -one for a short period of time and it's, you know, and it's just motivational and get them going and off they go. It may be they join our groups and they get into a more ongoing treatment. The treatment plan may have a much more robust focus in, in a group kind of setting. Um, but what we also have is we have clients that come in who don't function well in groups. And that's where one-on-one -on -one is important. Like people who, particularly with social phobia issues, um, you know, high anxiety issues, um, you know, people with, with uh, mental health problems that actually make working in a group very difficult. So we have those and we quite often work with those on an individual basis.